out. Oh, God, oh. Here they come. I'm Hello? trying. Are you I'm watching? trying. Are you? I'm going to beat you. I'm telling you. You're going not going to beat me. Uh, there's one behind you. Oh, man. Crash and burn. Too bad, Corey. Guess that makes me the winner. Again. Temporary winner. I've been holding back. I've been giving you a break just so you get the hang of it. But now it's time to teach you a little respect. Right. But it'll have to be next time. It's almost fourth period and I do not want to get caught in here. But Jenny, hold up. Look, I brought a disc and we could copy this, okay? And we could play it on my brother's computer. Okay, no problem. All we gotta do is... Whoa. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Did I hear you right? Did I hear you saying that you're gonna make a copy of a game without paying? Come on, guys. I thought you knew better. Don't copy that, Floppy. Uh, well, I, I just... But wait a minute. Who the heck are you anyway? Yeah, and what are you doing on our computer? I'm your MC, Double Death. DP, that's the disc protector for you and the posse. That's the artist, writers, designers, and programmers that work up the images for games and grammar that let you learn, but also play the game you came here for today. Now, I know you love the games, and that's all right to do, because the party who makes them, they love them too. But if you start stealing, there's some more they can do. But I just wanted to make one copy. You say, I'll just make a copy for me and a friend. Then he'll make one, and she'll make one, and where will it end? One leads to another, then ten, then more. And no one buys any discs from the store. So no one gets paid, and they can't make more. The party breaks up, and that close the store. Don't copy. Don't copy that floppy. So let me break this down for you. No more Oregon Trail. Tetris and the others, they're all gonna fail. Not because we want it, but because you're just taking it. Disrespecting all the folks who are making it. The more you take, the less there will be. The disc becomes fewer, the games fall away. The screen starts to shrink and then it will fade. Programs fall through a black hole in space. The computer world becomes bleak and stark. Loses its life and the screen goes to dark. Welcome to the end of the computer age. <laughs> but I'm much too strong and you're much too smart to let that happen to your chances to explore parts of the new age just behind the doors of your minds. You're the posse of the future and you hold in your brain things never thought of before. And in time, you'll teach us so much more. That's why I'm here and what I'm fighting for. Don't copy. Don't copy that. Now let me introduce you to some of the team. They'll explain a little more about what I mean. The game I just finished working on is called uh, Neverwinter Nights, and it's an online version of a Dungeons and Dragons game. Different people around the country can sit at their computers and play this game together. A team of people will contribute different parts. The graphics people will do the pictures, the sound people will do the sound or the, uh, the sound effects or the music that you hear, and the programmer actually ties all that together to make the complete game. By the time you add up all the people that are involved in creating an application, you'll end up with as many as 20 or 30 people. It's fun work, it's challenging work. Uh, I get a, a thrill out of seeing ac something actually working, something that I put together. And when it actually starts to work, you, you may hear me yelling down the hall, it's working, it's working. There are great advantages to owning the original piece of software. For example, there'll be documentation and manuals that'll come with it. Normally you have instructions, you also have warranties. You also have, in some cases, upgrades, if there are upgrades. We're available to you. You can call us on the phone and, and we'll answer your questions that might come up about the software. Any kind of technical support you might have or need, we'll be there to help you. If people keep stealing the games, the company makes less money, and therefore it may not want to make new games. So we might say, well, that didn't sell very well. They don't like it. We won't make any more of those. As a result of that, a tremendous amount of money and revenue is lost by the computer industry from this happening. Although the licenses may vary, the law is very simple. The copyright law says that when you buy a piece of software, you can put that software on one computer, and that's it. You can make a backup copy of the software, but you can't give that backup copy to a friend, and you can't put it on another computer. 
Every program that you buy, that's one program for one computer. We need you to be a part of our team also. The team of people who design and create the games are excited about the prospects for the future. And if you purchase your software instead of getting it illegally, you help make that future possible. You see, on these discs we have frozen in time the creativity of someone's mind. Do you think just because with the flick of a key you can copy that game that the work is free? This creativity we protected by law. We value so highly what the mind's eye saw. Don't copy. Don't copy that floppy. right thing it's really simple for you the copyright law it will tell you what to do buy one for every computer you use anything else is like going to the store taking the disc and walking out the door it's called thieving stealing taking what's not yours is that really where you want your life to go think about it i don't think so don't copy don't copy that floppy now wait a minute man let me get this straight you're telling me that I can't even make a copy of this science program just to use it home? That's bogus. Everybody does it. Those big companies have lots of money. This one copy is not going to hurt them. Hold up. I think I know what they're trying to say. It's like, well, you know I love computers. I might want to be a programmer someday. Now, if I spend a whole year working on a really cool game or science program, I know I wouldn't want a couple kids like us making all kinds of free copies. Because then how do I get paid? But they can't stop people from copying. It's too easy. Yeah, it might be easy, but it's still against the law. And hey, I'm too young for a life of crime. Oh, right, like I'm a criminal. Well, if the shoe fits. Say you see a game you like, can you really want to try it? Don't copy that floppy, just go to the store and buy it. Think of it this way, okay? When you buy a disc, you're saying to the team, we respect what you're doing, what you're working for. We'll keep up our support so you can make us some more. We'll do the right thing and the future will be clear. There will be new programs year after year. Don't copy, don't copy that floppy. Now you know how the games and the programs are made and what to do to make sure they're not gonna fade. The bottom line is it's all up to you. There's nothing more that I can do. The ball's in your court, dribble, shoot, or pass. I'm sure you'll make your decision with class. Don't copy that floppy. See ya, I'm out of here. And think about it. Look, I do have some money left over from my summer job. Hey, you can buy your own game with a manual. Do you think we have some time left over for another quick game? Oh, it'll be quick, all right. Won't take me long to beat you. No way, this time you're oh, going down in flames. Please, oh, 